friends, we are now going to start with our second program of this forum, Hammurabi Tablet. Let's give a big round of applause before we start so that we get the energy in this teapot cafe. Please have a good time. Thank you. Well, let me give a brief introduction about this forum. You must be having this curiosity, why this name, Hammurabi Tablet? Well, the first god of law in the ancient times, his name was Shamash, he gifted the first codified law to King Hammurabi of Babylonian kingdom. The King Hammurabi engraved those laws on various stones and kept those stones in his kingdom so that the people should be aware about the laws of his kingdom. The stones on which the laws are engraved are called Hammurabi tablets. Now they are located in the famous museum at France. If we happen to go to France, I would request everyone to go and see that. So this is the history of this name, Hammurabi tablet. This forum, Hammurabi tablet, is founded by advocate Rahul Maskar and myself, advocate Nachiket Kulkarni. Through this forum, we want to achieve certain motives such as spreading legal awareness, inculcating good advocacy skills among law students and budding advocates and giving glimpse of uh, our legal legends. So with this motive, we have started this forum. We have started programs in this teapot cafe since last month and this is our second program, how to be a solicitor from England, England and Wales rendezvous with Mr. Piyush Shah, advocate and solicitor from England and Wales. He, must, he will be enlightening us on this topic and how to pass the procedure to become a solicitor from England and Wales. Let me give a brief introduction about our chief guest, Mr. Piyush Shah. He completed his LLB and LLM in first class. He joined the bar in 1995 and he, started, he joined the Chamber of Advocate Vinod Mistri and company. And in the year 2008, he got his solicitors from England and Wales. And there onwards, he is practicing in uh, our uh, Bombay High Court, City Civil Court and Supreme Court as a solicitor. He is on the august bodies of various organizations and institutes and he, ha he is also a good acupressure therapist. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give a big round of applause for our chief guest, Mr. Piyush Shah, advocate and solicitor from England and Wales. Hello. Everybody, uh, solicitor Piyush Shah from England and Wales, and he will today give us various information regarding how to do a solicitorship over there, what are the benefits, what is the basic difference between a solicitor and lawyer. Because at that time, we also get confused ki itna kya difference hai. So let us hear from you only. Yeah. Huh? I would request Arrogate Rahul Maskar to felicitate our chief guest today. Thank you. I think we'll start with our program now. Uh, Piyush, why let us do tell us the first question. What is the difference between a solicitor and lawyer? The difference between an MBBS and MD. A general practitioner who is a doctor with MBBS degree and a doctor with a surgeon degree with a doctorate degree. So LLB degree is one aspect and specialized intensive degree is a solicitor's degree. More details we want. See, when we do LLB, let's, uh, how many of you are lawyers here, practicing lawyers? Majority. Majority. How many of you are students? Equal. 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 So, my first point will be that procuring a degree of LLB from a university is one aspect. Having a basic fundamental knowledge of law, transfer of property, criminology, law of torts, A, B, C, D. And taking a degree in a specialized manner, training, how to read the law is one thing by a law graduates and how to interpret the law, how to implement and how effective you are 
that will be subject matter of the solicitorship. So, it is a way of looking to it? If you look at it, then I will say a solicitor who does a special intensive study of law and a general concept is a solicitor will do a work in a chamber, in a AC cabin he is sitting working and uh, you know preparing notes, brief to be handed over to X person. Whereas, here the solicitor what we have been taught is a separate individual concept where there is a specialized training of interaction with the client, okay. how to knock out instructions from the client which is a big thing as a lawyer or as a solicitor, how to knock out instructions apart from knocking out the fees. <laughs> so, before you proceed further commercially, technically and legally get the maximum available data in a systematized manner and how to put it in the ambit of law and what best you can do it in a qualitative way is a solicitorship. It is not a general thing, if there are 100 lawyers, there are 5 solicitors. Am I clear? In the market today, if there are 100 lawyers, how many solicitors are there? On an average? Hardly 5. So, I presume today, you are or a prospective solicitors who are attending this lecture series organized by my friend Rahul. Now, you are being a solicitor from England and Wales. You yes. would like to know the procedure, fundamentals and concept which is there of solicitor over there and then we will discuss it compared to the Indian yes. solicitor. But first we would like to know the procedure over in England. See procedure over England what when we studied before a decade. There was a first requirement was the eligibility criteria. What is eligibility? First, there should be a law graduation. You should be a lawyer from a competent university. You are also eligible for the purpose of your language in English language. You have a command, you have got a certification for that. Act. Third, your university convocation certificates. Then there is a contagious certificate and non-contagious certificate. As a lawyer, you have done a litigation work, you have done a non-litigation work that is arbitration, chamber practice, drafting, conveyancing, that is non-contagious work, contagious work. So, all this certification file will go to the SRA. Remember this word, very, very few people, few student or lawyers are taking notes. I think we have made a small notes at the end of the program. So, that will synchronize and summarize the whole procedure, how to apply and how to become a solicitor. So, when you, you are applying, the first thing is now that eligibility that criteria has been reduced and law graduation degree coupled with your Mumbai University all graduation degree, all we have to sublight to SRA that is a solicitor regulatory authority at London. Central London is the main institute which is situated. You have to apply there. Thereafter, you are within the eligibility criteria, then your enrollment will be done. Initially, we used to pay approximately 300 pounds for the purpose of becoming eligible to enroll as a solicitor, to apply for the examination. Now, that fees criteria you have to apply and after application they will scrutinize your forms online. This process is online. You all people are lucky which we were required to go to London for appearance of exam from March 2016. You can appear part one in India. One of my uh, colleague friend who is here Mr. Vijay Singh, he has appeared twice. He has gone to London for examination and I will cover up the subject for what are the reasons why he could not clear his examination in first two attempts for few marks. He was declared clear, but still he was not within the eligible criteria. So, therefore, he could not be declared as a pass that I will come on the letter on of uh, our second session. But question here is after this compliance of your submission of the forms, submission of certificate, then you are eligible to appear for part one exam. So, now application is online without any fees initially, 
the moment you, they get a counter registration number on a mail, then you can start processing the first level.